Hello, so what we're going to do is show you how to make a M12 stud for our fixture setup, which is going to link into our T nut and our um, overall nut screw. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you a couple of ways on how we can make a stud. So, first, I'm going to draw on the front view. I'm going to zoom in just to get my datum down on this corner. And the system that we're developing is an M12, so I'm going to revolve this particular feature. So, I'm going to be using half the dimensions on the and diamonds is only six mil. Um, I want my stud this time to be 50 mil high, and obviously, I'm going to close off the feature. What I'm now going to do is put just a center line in between the two components, so I can revolve around that, and it closes off my shape. Stick one over there. The other thing that you could actually do is you could put like a a um, nice sort of insert that the actual thread doesn't actually continuously um, move through the whole component so you can basically screw other components to it if required so what I'm going to do is put a small um, let's say 2 mil insert in here um, as well and I can then I'll just mention this from wherever I want to go so I could say 15 from the top and 15 from the bottom. So, bear in mind, my T nut is 19 mil, so I'm going to say 25 from the base, like so. so finish that sketch. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to revolve that feature, and if, if I include this view here, it obviously will ping around um, the external view as well. But there's my revolve feature, and then there's my little 50mm stud. Obviously what you can also do is come in and use the create function thread, click the, the surfaces, and then it'll pick up that you have got a, um, what size, so pick up the outside profile is 12, uh, and make sure you've got 175 out of the options. And it picks this class. Now unfortunately because we've got one view, you have to put this in twice, so come again to the surface, click hole, back not hole, thread, sorry. Click surface, M12, once and five, and take off. Then what we can do, we can put a small break on the chamfer, top and bottom, and 0.5, so mini break, stick off any particular components. You could do like that on, on the inside as well if you, if, if you wanted to. Which I might include actually. Let's just edit that feature. Add our further profiles 0.5. So there we go. That's our component then finished. So that's that's one way to do it using the using the revolve tool. Another way that you could do this is you could draw on the on the top plane. Let's create a sketch. Let's choose the top plane. I just have to offset slightly away from my component here. Um, what I'm going to do is just draw a circle. I could then choose 12 mil. Finish my sketch. Extrude this one. Um, let's do 25 mil. Point it around. Draw on the top. New sketch. Another circle of 10 mil. Eight mils bit there. Eight mil solid extrude, and then we're going to want to come up. Um, let's split twenty five. Let's do ten. Last one in. Right click sketch. We then want to come back out to twenty again or twelve. Sorry. Solid extrude sketch. Bring that up to the remaining. Email. Okay, make sure you click both profiles so it's a solid, like so. Then we come in again, use this chamfer tool, click your four lines, 0.5, and then last thing to do is we can create a thread. One, and thread number two. 
So again, that's also the third way we can make our uh, second way we can make our stud. The third way we can make our stud. So if we draw another sketch, draw it on a, on the dot plane, just offset slightly further over again. Twelve mil solid extrude. We know it's going to be fifty mil high, so we can extrude the whole profile now, so we have like a whole bar. Okay, what we can now do is draw on our sketch. Draw it as 8mm, come into solid, extrude, start with an offset, so we can offset 15mm down, so we want to do a cut on that profile, so we want to do just minus 15 Distance, we're going to want to do it as 10mm. Offset minus 15 turn, okay. Oh, because we've got our dimensions wrong there, but um, overall it's the same. I think that must be 15 mil high, isn't it? So I can come in, edit that feature. So on the offset, minus 20, there we go. Come in again, chamfer for the edges. Five, and lastly, create the thread. And there we have it. So there's three ways. So we have the, using the revolve method, we have using the additive method, and we have using the subtractive method on making our studs. Um, again, I think that's still slightly out, but um, overall, you you get the same effect. So now I'm just going to save this one. Call it my stud. the profiles and there we have different ways to make a stud so thanks for watching that uh tune into our next video where we're going to make the washer and nut profile